Snap deal is up to, well, Snap more deals. Find out how its CEO plans to navigate the Indian e-commerce firm through a series of acquisitions to gain a bigger foothold on the markets when Street Science continues. Okay, time to swing uh, even further south and uh, talk about India. The uh, internet uh, retail market there is tipped to grow to $22 billion uh, by 2018, which is, what, four years away only. It's no wonder that Snapdeal.com is out for a bigger piece of that pie. India's largest e-commerce site is planning on going on an uh, acquisition spree and expanding its supply chain infrastructure to boost its business. The company, which works like eBay in the U.S., recently raised about $100 million from investors, uh, which includes Singapore's Tomasic Holdings, uh, one of the big sovereign wealth funds, and also BlackRock. Uh, that was its second fundraising this year after it brought in more than $130 million in February from eBay and Intel Capital, among others. Let's talk to uh, Kunal Ball, uh, co-founder and also CEO at SnapDeal.com, joining us live from Hong Kong in a first on CNBC interview. Kunal, great to see you and uh, appreciate your time. So just done with your second round of fundraising, where's the money going to go towards? Hey, Martin. Uh, good to see you, too. Uh, thanks for having me. You know, the mobile internet in India is really taking off really, really fast. So I think one of the key areas we're going to focus on is building out our mobile technology play. In addition to that is supply chain, because um, India has about 25,000 zip codes, only 14,000 of them are being serviceable by e-commerce companies like ours. So we really want to build out the infrastructure and work with the existing logistics companies to build out uh, more reach so that we can reach out each and every of the 1.2 billion people in India. Uh, Kunal, it's Oriel here in Singapore. Can you become the next Alibaba? Because that's the question mark, that is the question rather, that's being asked about uh, snapdeal.com. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people do see us as India's Alibaba. They, there is, of course, a long runway in the market still compared to where uh, China is in its development. But we are, we are near about a billion dollars in sales right now, annualized. And, and I, I, I do expect that over the next three to five years, it's not unrealistic to expect for us to get to a $20, $25 billion sales figure. Uh, just to put it in context right now, uh, within a year's time, we'll be the largest offline online retailer in the country so the largest offline retailer in the country does only two billion dollars in sales out of a 600 billion dollar retail market snap deal will be larger than that within a year so that puts in context how e-commerce is leapfrogging offline retail the same way mobile phones leapfrog fixed line phones okay so the question here is how are you planning to do this you've been on an acquisition hunt already we know that uh, you have been spending on acquisitions how much more uh, what does your cash chest look, look like for a start? How much are you spending ac on, on acquisitions over this uh, uh, period of very rapid expansion that you're talking about? I think we are, we are extremely fle flexible and we are, we are quite aggressive right now because uh, India is seeing an explosion of really interesting companies, especially focused on things like personalization, mobile tech, big data, analytics, supply chain systems. And we want to make sure that we, we are, we are, we are uh, staying very, very innovative. In, uh, in our technology. And I think that's where we'll mostly focus on, and we could go as high from, 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 z from doing acqui-hires up to a couple hundred million dollars in, uh, in ticket sizes. And that's why with the investor base that we have with BlackRock, Temasek, eBay, it facilitates us from a cash war chest standpoint, as well as stock currency that we have now to make these big ticket acquisitions to propel us into the next orbit of growth. What does your war chest look like at the moment, Kunal? Uh, it's over a couple hundred million dollars right now, but you know, if we need to do bigger deals, uh, I'm sure we can draw down more. Okay, all right. Will you be going outside of India? How quickly, I should say, will you be going outside of India? You know, I feel that the Indian, uh, so the quick answer is uh, not in the near future. However, I feel that there is, uh, and the reason for that is there is tremendous opportunity in the, uh, in the Indian e-commerce space. It's going to go from $3 billion right now in terms of market size to over $75 billion in the next five to six years. So we want to make sure that we are getting our lion's share of that pie. And if in five to seven years we are a $30, $40 billion company, I think we'll, our, our, our shareholders will be happy. Yeah, Kunal, I'm talking about share, uh, bite of the pie or share of the pie here. You guys, SnapDeal.com, so far have been pretty well insulated from names like Amazon and also Walmart because of rules that stop or prohibit foreign companies from selling directly to consumers in India. But we understand uh, at a cabinet trade minister level, 
they're considering changing that. Uh, what sort of insight do you have, especially with this new Modi government? Uh, are you are you nervous or are you reassured? I think uh, more more. For, for this e-commerce space in India to go from 3 billion to 75 billion in the next five to seven years, we will need a lot of investment. And the market cap of Snaptail will not equal the market cap of e-commerce in India. And as an entrepreneur, it's good to make peace with that. Which means we will need more players and each one of those players will play a role in creating this market as well. Um, and as a result, I think if the government makes it easier for FTI to come in in various other formats of, uh, of retail and e-commerce, I think that will only facilitate greater selection for consumers and greater awareness about e-commerce. That said, the regulation doesn't impact our business because we're really a technology company. We're just a marketplace of buyers and sellers, businesses trying to sell to consumers. Uh, so the regulation does not have any direct impact on us, but I think it can facilitate potentially the growth of the uh, e-commerce e industry in India. Okay, you, you know, we've been talking about monkeys being <laughs> yeah. better than stock pickers. I mean, you know, they sit there and throw a dart. So I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lob this at you, uh, mm -hmm. Kunal. Uh, IPO U.S., give us some sort of indication. Timing this year, are you going to hit a billion dollars in valuation? So we're already there uh, in terms of valuation. But um, I think uh, in terms of IPO plans, there are, there are many, many externalities that, uh, that influence that. It could happen as soon as 12 to, 12 to 24 months, or as you've seen in the case of Alibaba, they've decided to stay private for a long period of time and benefited from that um, uh, execution-focused approach rather than stock market-focused approach. Um, and I think there's something to learn for us there as well. So our investors are not putting any pressure on us, so we are really, really focused on making sure we build a great company and execute really, really well. Yeah, sounds like maybe not this year then. Yeah, maybe not this year. <laughs> okay, all right, Kunal, uh, great to have you with us. We really appreciate your time. You have a great weekend. Okay, don't Thank you. It is that time.